Hello everybody, I am getting ready tonight. I have a, a showing of my third short film ever in my life. My first one is 15 seconds long. Um, it was a 15 second horror movie that presented unique challenges trying to tell some kind of story in 15 seconds visually. The second one I made, I shot entirely on my Android phone. It was shot like one continuous scene. Each thing was just moving on to the next scene. It was just all spliced together. And that was like a couple of minutes long. And it also was a horror movie. And it was the first time I had used a little bit of special effect makeup. I'd never done anything like that. And it was very sloppy and very awful. And I was very proud of myself for doing it at all. And this is now my third, and it is going to be another experience because I am in this and I don't like watching myself perform in things I want because I always, well, you know, how people just don't always like to see themselves in pictures and film and everything else. I love doing it. I don't always want to see it. So I am going to be going to watch um, this film this evening at the showing and we're going to see what the audience reaction to that is. I'm uploading it to my channel. It's already set up to upload tomorrow. So people can go and check that out if there's any interest at all. And I am going to turn on some music now from um, my favorite White Bat Audio. Uh, Carl Casey's music uh, gives permission to use this for copyright background music. So... This one is 80s Retro Synthwave Mix, Miami Vice. And I'm going to go about doing my makeup. I think I'm going to use my pure defense palette. That might be a little bit louder than I would like it to be. The anti-pollution eyeshadow palette. Which is, if I can do it without reflecting. This one, I think that goes with the tones I'm wearing. This shirt is kind of the tones I'm wearing. We will see. I think maybe this is the easiest thing to do. I know this doesn't show a whole lot, but I like it as a starting place. trying to learn to be a little bit lighter handed when I put it on and not grind in there. But when I'm doing the metallics, I like to cream that right into the, into the skin. I don't know why. It feels nice. It actually makes the skin look smooth until I let it go and it all puckers up again. But whether it's right or wrong, it is how I do it and I seem to probably not change that unless somebody can tell me a way that feels interesting like that and gives a much better visual. I will always change then. Gotta learn from our, learn from new knowledge. I was gonna say mistakes, not always mistakes. But when we get new knowledge, we have to learn how to apply the things that do apply and let go of the stuff that doesn't apply. Not everything applies to everybody all the time equally. It just doesn't. Most men don't care about what's involved in putting on makeup. Some people really want to, to play around with who they are. And makeup to me is not a masculine or a feminine thing. It may look one way or the other to people because of what we're accustomed to seeing. But the more people see it, the more people realize, oh, that's perfectly normal, isn't it? Because it is. 
It just may not be your normal, and that is perfectly fine. If everybody was the same normal, it doesn't matter what it would be. It would be awful and boring. I love overalls. Overalls are fun and interesting, and people can do all kinds of looks that way, and it looks natural. I could try and put something like that on, and I would look like a wannabe. It's bizarre. But I can still appreciate it on people. So I, I love the fact that there's a lot of differences in people in the world. And I wouldn't mind seeing even more of that. This one, I like, but it always ends up making everything muddy. So I'm going to use that very, very minimally. Ready to reframe the way you and we're at a commercial on the... A TD advisor can help you with personalized financial advice. TD Ready Advice. Online, in person, or on the phone. For all the wheezes, sneezes, and super dad setbacks, grab a Kleenex soothing lotion tissue. Yeah, I don't think that's too bad. To nourish when you need it most. There's going to be other people at this event and they're going to be showing their things too. So I'm not there to, whoo, look at me. But I also have to go being myself because that's what people will expect. And I don't expect anything less from me either. So my goodness, some of these songs seem so much louder than others, <laughs> but it's enjoyable. Now I have done that, 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 that. Time to go in with my. It's funny because it is. It's. Where is it? That's not what I wanted. That's my eyebrow pencil. I should have known with that thing on the back. Has anyone else ever grabbed the wrong thing? It's all makeup. I mean, it kind of works, but this is a little harder and I don't want to be dragging it by my eyes. This is a lot softer. I wouldn't want to be doing it here because it'll just smear. And for anyone that doesn't know why I do the inside of my waterline really only, it's because I have really very li little lid space. And if I try to draw this on here, that's all you will see. Makeup faces. here I try to put it right at my lash line and I feel that that at least as much as I can manage makes my eyes actually look slightly bigger it's the best I can do with what I have to work with so now I'm not sure I was playing around with doing lips and unfortunately I don't like the way they turn out but Again, have no idea what this is because of the little barcode thing on the end here that I can't pull off. I have gouged into it trying to get that off. So I am going to see. Since I'm not used to doing lips, I have to really concentrate.
I've lined my lips. So I didn't like the last time I did this. I didn't like the way it looked. But my friend told me that it actually looked pretty good. So I thought, well, I'll try it again. So this is just me with the lip liner. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna take the same lipstick I used yesterday. Was it yesterday I tried them? The day before? I forget what day. Yeah, I think it was Monday. sort of a taupey nude. But it is very creamy and I'm not accustomed to having things like that on. And I don't have anything around to remove the excess. So I'm just gonna take this clothing card that I have from a Ralph Lauren dress that I had on where the recommended retail price was, where was it? I know it said it on here. Uh, oh, there it is. Recommended retail price, $195, and I got it for $14. Thrifting, and it had the tag on, never been worn. So I'm going to take this card here. I wish I had something better to blot it, but at least it did take off some excess. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if they're me or not, but I think that's the best I've ever done trying to do something with my lips. I'll take that as a, as a win. It's always good to have a win. So. Maybe I did them just a little bigger than they needed to be. You can't always avoid accidents. But you can avoid special accidents. But that is... Team insurance officers, mm. claims advisors, repairs... And I've never had such big looking lips. Shop. TD Insurance, ready to help you move forward. That's funny to me. That's really, really funny to me. So I just have to put on hair. And that is... Oops, I took this off. I have a tie to wear and a mermaid type of skirt. But it's sort of almost trumpety and mermaidy. It's it's hard to explain. But that has a, a jacket to it and it has like fuzzy and sparkly bits to it. And again, very hard to explain. But I'm gonna wear that with this shirt and a dress tie. I just think that will be a good representation of me tonight. So until the next time, I hope everybody takes care of themselves and each other.